welcome back. Um, I got a fantastic question um, that I would like to kind of springboard off. And um, the question comes in from Michaela. And Michaela says, if I did, uh, I love your video on self-portraits. If I did a self-portrait every day of the week, would they be different? Hmm. Quite quite an amazing question. Yes, probably it would. Um, and that question came in a couple of days ago and it really stuck with me today. So um, I've had a really dreadful morning. I'm really uh, full of self-doubt, full of anger, full of everything. And I thought I would try and do a a self-portrait in this mood, um, feeling a little bit down about myself, a little bit, you know, um, I haven't had many sales, I haven't had much people visit my shop, and everything's just today just kind of got to me a little bit. Usually it doesn't, <laughs> usually I don't bother, I don't know why today, but today is just kind of really just gone. So I thought I'd do a self-portrait in this more unhappy, angry, self-doubt mood. And I thought it might just um, answer the question in a little bit more of a fair way, maybe. So I've thrown down some color on this piece of paper. I'm just going to wait for it to dry and then I'm going to throw down some ink on top. Um, so a self portrait under a different mood. Hmm. Could be fun. Watch the video. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen, but I hope it answers your question. Thank you very much. Welcome back. My, um, first layer of color. I've just thrown down some color just to to get that kind of feeling and there's a lot of color behind me um it's how i feel um some of the paper has kind of broken uh, i guess under the wetness of the which is kind of going to give it a little bit of a rough feeling some of the paper is broken um i just splashed it around i put a couple of bits of white in there just to give me a shape and it's now dried so i'm going to try and do a different different approach um, like like the lady said and I'm gonna try and bring in some different different mediums charcoal for example and I'm gonna kind of put a little bit of a, a darker area around the base of my eye because that's how I feel today it's you know 99% of an artist's life is kind of like cool and funky and wild and you just kind of get in with the the feeling and the, and the drawing and the artwork and then some days something will just get under your skin and today it's the simple fact that you know now the the, the kind of videos and that are starting to get up to like you know we've got like 125,000 viewers but you know, the shops are still kind of very quiet and and as as all artists, all of us, we all kind of rely on that income from book sales and um and our artwork. You know, I've got a I've got a hundred and fifty books on YouTube, uh, on um Amazon and I've got God knows how many um, prints and about 600 prints and t-shirts and stuff like that on Etsy. And then you wake up and you've sold nothing. And it, whoo, I don't know, kind of hits you sometimes. But we're not going to dwell on that. We're here to do, uh, well, it's helped in a, in a way because the ladies asked about a portrait if you drew a portrait every single day of the week, would would they be very different? And I think, yeah, they would be. So I'm going to try and work on a... I'm going to 
be careful with charcoal once you get it all over your fingers it's kind of difficult unless you've got wet ones or something like that i've got usually this bad habit of just dipping it into my water and wiping my fingers <laughs> yeah i know it's not nice but but what the hell we're messy dirty animals as artists anyway aren't we right i've got a blue that i need for my eye later but i'll see what i've done with it i've got a terrible thing of oh there you are i've got a terrible thing of having don't like throwing away the boxes for for inks but i'm very 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 bad at actually keeping the um keeping the the jars in I'm just going to do this on the end of the dip brush just because I want to kind of get a a bit more of a kind of a bit more of a crazed look in my eyes today. My eyes are blue but um, sometimes that blue gets a little bit kind of <laughs> uh, a little bit kind of crazy sometimes. I wanted, I had this idea of putting a, a white swirl in there as well, but I don't think it will happen with, let's just try it with this a little bit of a drier feeling there. See if it will, yeah, I see it just kind of explodes as soon as you touch it, but it's got a nice swirly feeling to it anyway. And I'm going to try today to, um, Get some of my mood and some of my feeling into this self-portrait. And this self-portrait, um, I'm going to be using Winsor Newton ink today um, in the little glass jars. I'm sorry you can't see the name on the front because I've got ink all over it. You can probably see it on the back there. <laughs> but i got ink all over the place in there. And I'm really trying for something today a little bit more, more of a kind of a stressed feeling in my in my appearance. You've seen the other um, self-portrait that was all kind of happy and jumping around. And today is something, uh, it's a different mood. So we're just gonna try and capture that different mood. And put it in a couple of stress lines and crazy lines and see how I'm feeling. And Don't worry, all artists kind of have those days of the world crumbling in on top of them, <laughs> you know. Uh, I think sometimes, uh, art, you know, being an artist is a, a, a very strange, it's a, a strange gig anyway, really. I mean, you know, you know, if I was a mechanic or something, people wouldn't turn up and say, Hey, Kieran, my car's broken down you're a kind of mechanic do you think you could fix it for me oh sure man yeah let me let me get in there and and sort it out for you whereas um you know once you're once you're an artist people seem to say oh man could you paint me something could you paint my dog could you draw this could you do this for me and it's all like what's it's like a hobby or something it's like People still don't seem to see artists as like, like, it's like a real life. It's a real career. I mean, artists still have bills and stuff like that, you know? I mean, I'm doing black hair at the moment. I don't have black hair. <laughs> oh, my hair's turned white over the years. I don't know why it all turned white, but I've kind of makes me, makes me look older than I am sometimes maybe. I don't know, but. I don't know why I have so much white hair. Stress of being an artist, probably. That's what it is. And that's what we're trying to get here. We're trying to get this feeling of... Um, I want to try and capture this feeling that's kind of going on in my head at the moment. And this... This kind of stressed stressed out worried mind that i have sometimes well you know i guess we all you know all arty people have that thing of enjoying doing what they're doing and then you you've got bills coming in and you start going what 
What do you mean I've got to pay for water? And <laughs> so this is my my self portrait today. My self portrait of um, real life attacking me. Real life coming into. Real life coming in to slap me in the face, you know. I've got a little grey pot down there. I want to try and see if I can bring that in. Let's see if I've got a little brush up here in my in my jar of puke. And so t today is kind of like getting this the self portrait to kind of come in and this is just like a watered down gray it's nothing anything magical i'm not there's no secrets in here and i'm just kind of touching it with my finger to break down the edge of it so it doesn't look so kind of blotchy and i'm just trying to kind of give a shadow behind it a little bit and I'll bounce that down here as well. I'll try and hope that's dried a little bit then by the time I get around to it. And this color around me is like, it's the idea that my life is just colorful and beautiful. And, and um, but sometimes this part, Sometimes your head just wants to explode. Sometimes your head just kind of builds all this stuff up. And I'm trying to get some real kind of, get some real kind of stress lines going round about my, my eyes. And, and I'm really quite pleased with that. Let's hope that dries down a little bit lighter. It's quite a dark color there. But then, um, you know, generally the, the other self portrait that I did, generally that's me. Um, I usually am quite a happy. <laughs> I usually am quite a happy chappy. I usually am quite kind of. Um, full of life and love and everything else, you know. Today I'm not. Today I'm, today I'm full of piss and vinegar, really. And that's what I'm trying to get, some of that, that kind of stressed and angry feeling coming on. that to be felt and I noticed also the last couple of days I've started to have this these kind of spots coming up under my eyes and it's, I was talking to a friend about it and they said oh that, they're stress lines you know <laughs> like what I don't have stress what are you talking about but I guess it is, I guess that's what happens to you. So I'm adding some of these kind of spots on my face to show you what's, what, what, you know, what's been happening. I'm gonna put a, light, a nice highlight there on my, my nose.
And I love this idea that that you can kind of you can be two sides of that that kind of um, self portrait, you know. That life kind of does come in, and that life does kind of kind of bite you on the ass sometimes. Excuse my words. Excuse my my venomous tongue today. It's nice to kind of <clears throat> get some of those those kind of feelings out of your system also. It's kind of like when your mind's just going, God, you can just go. <coughs> <coughs> Run out of ink, so I'm just going to fill up my jar. Excuse me for five seconds. <coughs> I usually spill it all over the place, but... Oh, sugar. There you go. Exactly, just as I said, I always spill my ink and what happens. <clears throat> That's why, please, Windsor and Newton, please, I'm begging you, make a bigger, a bigger little square jar, please, for God's sake, these... Well, there you go. It adds to my picture. You see? Because <clears throat> my anger has come out. My anger has thrown that ink on there. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it there. I'm going to just keep all that there. You see? This is all these things that happen. These things are, are making a different version of yourself. And that's what you need to come in. That's what you need to control. And I always think that if you do something like that on your drawing, then it was meant to be. It was meant to happen. So just make the best of it. You know, especially if you're doing something like this, you're doing this with anger and with feeling about what's happening around your life at the moment. And if anything happens on your picture, that's, that's meant to be there. It's meant to be. So don't go around kind of changing it and making it all pretty. Because when you look back at this self-portrait and you look at it, then you'll actually be looking at it and thinking, I remember that. I remember that. I remember this. I remember that. Mm. I love the way this ink's dried up here uh, around the, the top of my head. It's almost like this fire coming out of the top of my head. Um, I'd like to get a hat in there somewhere or some some kind of vision of a hat or something. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put at the top here, but... Hmm, that's a nice idea. <clears throat> Maybe there's some kind of bad luck bird above my head like those magpies i get loads of magpies in my garden maybe that's what is there maybe that's what that is up there maybe that's just a big big ugly magpie bird right above my head at the moment and i'm gonna make that into a bird angry putting that down okay Kind of get 
in that feeling in there the because the magpies have been all over this garden this morning there was one out there shouting at me this morning and you know for for irish people I, well maybe this irish person but you know i'm very kind of superstitious about stuff like that I don't like magpies in my garden. They just kind of make me feel like they're giving me bad luck. <clears throat> I know it's silly. I know a lot of people laugh at it. You know, lots of people in my life all kind of go, what? No, no, of course not. Of course magpies don't bring bad luck. Well, you know, they definitely brought it to me today. That's for sure. That bad luck didn't come from me. That came from that damn magpie. And the magpie's in there. And it comes in and it makes that noise like it's laughing at you. My God. And there's my hat. My hat is blowing off into the wind. That's a lovely feeling there. I'm going to add you. I'm going to add you, Blackbird. And I'm going to add you. So when I look back, you'll see that all this bad luck wasn't my fault. For anybody out there thinking that I've gone mad, probably have. <laughs> Kieran, the artist has lost his mind. He's talking to himself and blaming magpies for his bad luck. Yep, that is very true. I am. Damn magpies. One for sorrow, two for joy. And do you ever see two? No. I think whoever wrote that little song and that little story knew that then you very rarely see two. That's coming up nice. I'll wait for that to start drying down and then I'll put a little bit more grey in there so I can kind of soften down the hat. I don't really want it to be... <clears throat> I don't want it to be too black. I want to have some gray in there. Put some feeling around the hat. That's what I call this. I call this my feeling. Trying to make the feathers a little bit more kind of less kind of friendly because I think when you when you're kind of putting all that kind of bad luck down, I want to see that it's something that's kind of like feathers of claws or something like that, you know. And that's how I kind of think of it. I kind of think that you know they they must have something more sinister in those soft feathers to be to be filled with so much bad luck yeah I mean I wonder where they ever kind of learned about magpies being bad luck I wish they'd stay out of my garden anyway <clears throat> so that's starting to see how the feelings of today have come in the feelings of the bird, the feelings of... And I think that's building up to be a beautiful picture. Yeah, it looks like I could do with a haircut as well. It's starting to get a bit fluffy over there. Hmm. 
Not sure what's going on with the mouth. The mouth is giving me a big white stripe there. And it's kind of giving me the, the impression that the, the color, the paint, wants me to do that. It wants me to give myself this big angry mouth. I don't really want to, but, you know, I feel like the, the, the paint, the, the colors are calling me. There it is. I'm giving you it. It's whiter there in that band. Can you see that? Can you see the way that is lighter than this part? And it's giving me this feeling of this kind of angry mouth. Uh, you know, I'm always kind of saying you should follow what the painting gives you, what the picture gives you. You need to follow it. That's some of my little stubbly bits on the side of my face at the moment since I need to have a shave. I'm gonna put my big put my big diamond earrings in there. I love my big you know, let's put some grey down there first so they come out a little bit more. Let's get my charcoal in there. Just so that they kind of glow a little bit more. That's nice. That's nice. <clears throat> so my big diamond earrings come in there. I'm sure one day I will have a real diamond. Beautiful. I feel like I need to add some more highlight to that. A little bit too much gray there it makes it makes it feel shadowed and I want it to feel shocked. So I'm just gonna whiten up some of that gray in the eye. <clears throat> oh that's better. Oh that looks much nicer. That's looking nice. How does that look for you? Does that look <laughs> okay, here we come with this big kind of... Uh, I'm not sure about this, but this is what the painting is telling me to do. You can see that divide there saying, draw here, draw here, draw here. feel like them. I'm almost kind of feeling like I need some more there. I need something there. I need something there. I need something. What can I put? Can I put some yellow there? Will yellow sit? Will yellow behave itself if I put it down there? I have no idea why I'm, my brain is telling me yellow, but Like under that, and I'm going to try and bring it in there on this side too. I've got too much. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that is really lovely. I love the way my mouth has kind of come off my face. Oh, it's gorgeous. Where's my lid? Let's see if we can get a little bit more of that yellow in there. Lovely. Let's just dob that down a little bit there with the black. So that'll help me dry it out. So I can go back up and do my 
I like that. I love the way the mouth has come off the face. Oh dear, I don't look like a very happy person today, do I? <laughs> Oh my god, you're not happy today, are you? Look at this. Hmm. I need to get some highlights going on in here. Otherwise it's going to get too dark. Highlights are nice. Highlights are lovely things to go in and put put in just to kind of, sometimes things can get very dark and it's nice to go in and put a lovely little highlight on there somewhere just to really kind of pick things up. That's nice. So we're starting to get this nice kind of feeling here of, oh, I don't know, kind of madness and anger, I suppose. Um, I don't like the idea of it being so kind of... Get my jacket in there. Be nice to get a nice colorful scarf in there under somewhere. Some Nice colors of, I had a beautiful purple there with the, oh, it was an eco line, wasn't it? I'm not sure, will it come out? Is it gonna be too? It might be nice to put in. Oh, it's gonna to be too dark. Hmm. Let's put some water in there and see if I can wash it down. Let's get some dirty water, that will help. Oh, hasn't really come. Oh, it's, it's come up too dark. What a shame. I'll wait for that to dry and I'll see if I can rescue it. It's a lovely purple. It's actually a, one of those E. coli purples, but it's affected too much with the black there. So I'll wait for that to dry. Um, unless I put some of that on, will it? Will it dissolve it down a little bit? So here we are. I didn't really, didn't really dissolve onto the purple much. So here we are down on the, the bottom part of the face. And I, you know, it would be lovely to know that you guys are also doing us another self portrait in whatever mood you are today. All right. All right, let's get my my beard going. Let's get some some white in there to kind of my beard's kind of stressed out as well. My beard's all over the place today. My beard's kind of exploded today. And all the all the madness and anger and everything that's happened has just gone absolutely crazy. So it'd be funny if I can do this and, and kind of get something 
nice with it. See if I can get a nice kind of twisted, twisted smile coming up there. Cool. <laughs> That's nice. And I'm gonna have to put my mustache in there at some point, aren't I? My crazy twisty. Very, very long and twisted mustache. Let's let's do it out there. Let's make it a really long mustache. It's kind of been it's been soaking up all the stress and it's kind of got even bigger than usual. How does that look? Is that looking like some kind of crazy artist who's gone a little bit mad today? Because that's definitely me. See, sometimes when you're when you're happy, you see you see your life and you see everything as beautiful and amazing and. And when things go a little bit not so pleasant, like today, you look at your shop and you think, no one's bought anything in so long, I hate the world. And, and it makes you look at everything differently, you know? And it's, it makes you look at yourself differently. It looks at your portrait differently. And um, what, what a lovely way to kind of add on to the world, you know. And um, <clears throat> I'm just going to add some up here because I think it would be nice to add some of that up there. I'm quite enjoying these highlights. And these highlights are really kind of putting a lot of life into this picture. And I'll add some more black on top of it. Once it's giving me that lovely crazy grey type of feeling. Which I'm loving this the way that it's all kind of changing into from, from this kind of black into a much softer grey. It's just fabulous. There's my crazy crazy all over the place hair. Look at that. Whoo! You're going crazy, man. I'm liking that. There's a big band on my hat. Put a little highlight on there. I need to get some grey in there, but I don't want to put too much grey in there too quick. Because I feel like it will just... Wait for that to dry down a little bit. All right, so let's do the bottom part of this. Let's just touch up that bit first. Mm, I don't know why, but I need to kind of a, have a big kind of question mark or something. Cool, it's looking nice. Nice. How's that looking? Is that looking <laughs> Is that looking like me? Is that looking like me? 
probably is actually. What are you feeling about that? What do you think? Are oh, we starting to get some kind of crazy, crazy view of uh, my crazy bad day? the way that comes there all that red glow comes down the red glow comes under my face I love that yes that is really cool If you're doing a self portrait, I would love to see it. If you draw it and you post it up anywhere, send me a link on my on my comment. Send me a link and show me what you've done. I would absolutely love to go and see what your your mood of today is in um it's lovely. That's come up so good. See the Windsor Newton ink is is beautiful. It really sits beautifully on the paper, but I'm already halfway through that little jar. I mean, what can I do with that? These little jars, you know, and the bottle is the, the top of the bottle is too thin. I can't, I need to pour it into a bigger pot, but I love these little glass jars. Uh, not that nice, not that good. All right. I need to build in something there. I, I like this green here. But I think, think thinking it's kind of like going too far out on the sides. I'm just going to see if I can kind of paint it out a little bit. Okay. And that will be there. And I'll try and bring in some nice colors around here for like my scarf and things like that. And this will be like my jacket here. I'll have a nice green jacket maybe. And then this grey will help dissolve things down there a little bit. And I don't like that. Let's get some, some, some water effect on there to soften that. That's what we're, do we're doing. We're kind of softening down that effect. And what we're doing a lot here is you can see that I'm not following rules. I'm following feeling. Feeling first. The mood that I have coming through here is hopefully a very beautiful thing. The fact that I'm not worrying about adding this with that and adding charcoal on top of Tipex on top of painted ink on top of whatever whatever I've lost my yellow there which I'm going to go back in and paint again I'm not quite sure why that's happened but it should be liquid oh maybe I need a oh, I thought I'd used the um, I thought I'd used the Indian ink hmm, I didn't where's my yellow Indian ink is that it there 
Yes, that's the jar, but uh, the the actual jar of it isn't in the packet. Hmm. What have I done with that? I see a, I can see a red. I can see a silver. Oh wow! A silver. Now that is definitely exciting. What else have we got there? I've got a Bombay yellow, but I can't see where the Bombay yellow is. Hmm. Where's my Bombay yellow gone? Too many jars of ink, I think. That's the. Oh my God! There's a gold there as well. Whoo! Windsor Newton gold. Check that out. Now the only thing with the gold with Windsor Newton is. Well, if you've bought got Windsor Newton gold, you will find that what happens is that it usually changes into a big thick. Oh my God, yes, so thick. But will we be able to? Will we be able to get enough out to make that big golden smile? Would we? You see how thick it is on the nib. Very thick. I don't know why it gets so thick. But for today's drawing, I'm really happy that it's nice and thick. But usually if you're using it, it can be too thick. It's almost like you're spooning it out. But it's a very beautiful gold smile. Beautiful. My golden smile. <laughs> Yeah, I think I've got a golden smile. Why not? That's beautiful. That is so, so fabulous. So fantastic. And that's the Windsor and Newton. Far too thick for any other drawing, I might, might add. But for today, it's working out beautiful because it's nice and thick. Let's hope it dries down into a nice, a nice consistency. Where I first painted on the yellow and the yellow just died in there. And here we've got a lovely big golden smile. Maybe I should call it the golden smile. What a great title that would be. The man with the golden smile. <laughs> huh? Oh my God, I'm going mad here. The man with the golden smile. Me and my golden lips. <laughs> Fabulous, look at that. Does it come off? No, it doesn't really. doesn't really want to. Lovely. Oh, let's put some down here. Come on. I like that. I love the fact that there's a, this is kind of golden, this golden effect, the golden smile and the golden kind of speckles around here kind of fills me with some kind of hope that you might have all that bad luck up there, but you've got this golden feeling down here.
How is that looking? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I really hope that stays. Um, I hope that stays uh, thick. I hope it stays bright so that when we scan it later, all that color jumps off the page. I'm so excited with that gold. I desperately, desperately want to see if I can get some of this the silver oh that's so liquid let's have a go let's see if i can put some silver down on my earrings oh it's so beautiful they kind of run into each other a little bit there but put some of my silver hair oh yes i love that Oh, this is going to be the best self-portrait ever. I might even change my um, image to be this, you know, on your Facebook or something like that. I might, I might put this mad, crazy um, drawing in here for here in the self-portrait. The crazy artist has drawn a crazy self-portrait. <laughs> Oh, I love that. All right, let's get some of it up here into my hat. That's looking nice. silver hat my silver top hat oh, that would be cool wouldn't it I always wanted an orange top hat I saw one in a shop once I, pro I might have already told you this but it was in a shop in Brighton one time and I was with my sister and my sister was like go and get it go and buy it go and buy it go and buy it and in the end I didn't but oh man I regret it So if one day you see me with a beautiful silver top hat, a silver orange top hat, you will know that I got brave and I went and got one. There was a lovely lady in the shop. She was so friendly and she was very, very good because she was filling people with confidence to buy these hats and she was fantastic. All right, I need to wait for that to dry and then I need to touch up some lines around that. All right, let's wipe that off. All right, I've got to put some white on this bird now. I've got to... We've got a few things going on here. We've got this area down here where we've got to put a little bit of color because I want my scarf to be a little bit bright, colorful. Um, and I would really like to find some I'll use some of the Windsor Newton inks. I don't know if they'll be dark, um, thick enough. I might have to use some acrylic ones. Um, I think the Bombay ones are only, there's a beautiful orange there with the Bombay. Let's try if I can put some orange in there. Black likes to get into everything. It really likes to destroy every single thing. Oh, I like that. I love the way that orange comes in there at the bottom. Lovely. It's got a very nice feeling on that. Lovely. 
Lovely. I'll put a little bit more on that later. Once it starts to settle. Right, now I need to I need to attack my bird. My horrible, horrible magpie bird. Mm. I think I've done enough black on him. I'm gonna have to try and put some white in there to kind of get those feathers coming across. Some white feathers in there. I'm not quite sure why um, why magpies have got this kind of bad name. There must be something in history to do with uh, magpies being so much bad luck. I would love to know. I'm just a very suspicious or I'm superstitious Irishman. And every time I see a, a magpie, it drives me mad. Really, I oh, just go furious. Uh, everybody, you know, my family seemed to kind of laugh at me, saying, oh, there's nothing wrong with magpies, but oh, I don't know. Every time I see them, I'm, they come for me, you know. They give me all that bad luck. So I'm going to have to try and get some kind of magpie going on here. I'm going to have to have his legs coming down there, so I'm going to have... That's looking fine. I'm happy with that. Well, this has become a very, 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 very beautiful um, self-portrait already. I'm really pleased with it. It's starting to get a little bit thick down here. I'm just going to soak it up a little bit because I don't want it to run all the way through my picture now. I'm so happy with it. And I'm happy the way that that orange has come across. Once it dries up, it should be quite nice. We'll put some oranges and reds down here to kind of lift that. The same way that we've got a little bit up there. I'm tempted just to kind of add a little bit of a kind of a highlight to the top of my head there. It's got this lovely glow and a... I don't know why there's so much red on my head, but I think that must have bled through from the image and I liked it and I kind of gone with it. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now I'm wondering if I've got a little bit more of that orange. I could put a little bit of orange on that side. Might, might kind of soften that in a little bit. It's nice. <laughs> oh my God. That is so cool. I love that. I absolutely love that. Right, now this is the dangerous part because I want to draw that and I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to kind of reach across. I wonder if I can get those legs coming down to be, maybe where's my gold? How can I give him some golden legs? I'm not sure how much of this is left. This is the magpie's legs coming down here. And I'm gonna kinda of give him some some horrible claws. I'm 
Stay away, magpies. Don't come hunting poor artists like me. <laughs> oh dear, my God. This is going to be a crazy beautiful self-portrait. You see, that's what's so amazing about exploring these things and trying these things and just seeing what happens, you know? And sometimes you draw something and you just think, that's incredible. I love doing that. It's so much fun doing this today. Let's pull that down a little bit so I can get to it. Can you see the magpie at the top there? Just pa just pause it there for one second, just so that so that I don't lose the video. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it's good just to uh, pause it and um, always put inks on the right if you're right-handed. So you don't knock them and now we're getting into this bird. I've done him a little bit of an angry face. I don't know why I've done him an angry face, but Maybe because he knows his bad luck's not going to work on me. I'm a happy artist. You go and, go and be horrible to somebody else, mate. So I'm gonna, this is gonna give me power now against these magpies. No more bad luck, mister. I'm too happy and it's not gonna work on me. That's what I'm thinking of. Cool. It's looking so, so nice. Love that. This is really, really coming up to be a very, very fun drawing. Getting in some feeling. That's what I call it, feeling. And that is really starting to be a very beautiful idea. Lovely. Well, I think that's a very good stage at the moment. I'm going to bring this down now and finish off drawing the jacket feeling which is down here and this jacket is going to be here just to finish that corner off I hope you're exploring your your self portrait today and and one thing that's really really important here is that your self portrait can be done to follow your mood like this is today's mood and then sometimes you're happy and sometimes you're not so happy and it doesn't matter it's about drawing you capturing you how you feel and that's a really really important thing I 
Well, I've come to the end of my other jar. That's another 75 mils. That's like 150 mils of ink just on this drawing. So that would be two jars, two jars of these little things, two jars. And I need to, I need more ink. I need to go and top it up again. I'm definitely, definitely going to have a pinstripe suit. Of course. You know how much I love my pinstripe suit. And I've got on my on my coat. I've got a big skull, a bird's skull. It's kind of like a magpie skull. So it's going to ward off all the magpies. It's made of silver, and it was handmade by. Um, can't remember. And it's a skull, and I had I've, I've had it for years, and I like to think it's like magpies will see it and think oh stay away from that guy and it's it's it sits there it's like a big let's try and paint it in let's try and paint it in there it's got like a, a big skull there and then it's got a beak that's what I've got on my jacket. I think it's got a crown, I think. And I, I love it because it's kind of reminds me that it keeps all the scarecrows away or the magpies away from me. They're gonna be scared of it. Cool. I'll wait for that to dry and then I'll draw some details into it. Well, I hope you're enjoying today's um, crazy adventure. Um, I was, I absolutely loved today. I really had great fun today. Um, oh, I need to do a little bit more on that that magpie to kind of highlight his body a little bit because his wings are coming out. I'm going to just give a little bit of a feeling to his body. And that's some of the little details on there. The details on his feathers. Because he's kind of got this black and white kind of feeling to him. That's that's what I'm trying to get in there. And I think today it's really taught us a lot. Ta taught us a lot actually about drawing things in a mood. And that's a, such a fantastic question that came in. I really thank you for that. But it's really kind of made you feel like drawing something in one mood and then drawing something in a completely different mood. Wow, it's, it's incredible, you know? I didn't plan on drawing a self-portrait today, that's for sure. But I'm really glad that I did, you know? I'm really glad that this, this mad portrait has come forward. And I hope when you're sitting there drawing your portrait, that it's also something that you're looking at and thinking, well, that's, that's kind of crazy, that's kind of beautiful, that's kind of me. I don't know if I'd like to admit that this is me. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. No, it's not me, not me, not me. I'm not that angry today. <laughs> okay, maybe a little bit. So go on, onto my um, Amazon shop and buy some of my notebooks or buy some of my kids' stories or or um, Worry Lips. Worry Lips is my one of my favorites. And that comes in a big ghost tabulous or go and buy the cat cat one if you like cats. There's lots and lots of books on my um, 
Amazon page. And there's lots of t-shirts and prints on my Etsy shop. All under my name. Make sure you buy it from my shop. Don't buy any copy stuff, won't you? The copy stuff, I cannot say what the quality is going to be like. But I'm hoping and I feel quite proud that everybody who's bought directly from me has loved all the prints. and So buy it directly from my shop, please. Don't buy other copy stuff. Who wants to copy stuff anyway? What are these people up to? Mm. Poor artists and people who are copying it. What the hell is that about? Mm. And all the sales that you give me as I really appreciate. Really, really appreciate every single sale that comes in. And that's my kind of my skull for the scare my birds off that's looking very very thick up there at the top let me just try and save that here we go right well i think that's pretty much there for for um there's a few little things that i'm going to do i'm going to add a little bit of color to that but i think at the moment it's all too wet um, I will definitely be putting in some kind of highlights to the the scarf and stuff like that. I'll add some highlights to my my lovely green suit. Lovely. And that's just kind of adding some some highlight to it just to kind of bring it forward a little bit. A little bit more down there. Just to make it stand out a little bit and i'm really really pleased with that today today has been an amazing day for self-portraits and coming up with some fun So I really hope you have enjoyed today. You, you've enjoyed all my madness. <laughs> I definitely have. I really have enjoyed today. It's been so much fun. And I really, really appreciate you spending your time with me. And stay in touch. Let me know what your, what your self-portraits are like, okay? I'll do you, uh, uh, once this dries, I will do a video show you, show you the final thing. I will add a little bit of color to the scarf, but it's too wet at the moment, so I can't do it now. And hopefully all that gold and the silver will settle down and it will look beautiful in the final result. Thank you very, 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 very much for coming and joining in with, with me today. Very much appreciated. My name's Kieran Siemens and it's been a pleasure to spend some time with you. Come back again very soon. Today's drawing was so beautiful. We had so much fun. And here it was. Some kind of crazy self-portrait. Look at that eye. Oh, look at that golden smile. And there's my hat. Silver hat. And a big magpie above my head that gave me all the bad luck today. Which came to me. Draw this beautiful, fantastic great fun self-portrait that's my mood today i'm not always that that grumpy and horrible uh but this is a self-portrait with my mood today and i thought it was fabulous fun fabulous it made me feel so good to draw this
and it's going to be on YouTube very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.